Welcome to the Structure Studio's online video series. This video will explain construction markup. In this stage, you will add guides, callouts, plumbing and electric lines, and set the line and fill styles for your construction plans. Before we create our plan, let's review the markup layers in the panel. There are two types of layers, markup layers and stage layers. Markup layers are dark gray and at the top of the list. Use these layers to add details to your project, such as general markup, plumbing, electric, and gas lines. Stage layers are in light gray and correspond to each stage in the software, such as custom shapes and house. When a green eye is next to the layer, everything on that layer is visible on the plan. To hide a layer, click the green eye to add an orange X. When an orange X is next to a layer, all objects contained in that layer are hidden. We want all of our layers to have the green eye except terrain lines and contour lines. We can add these to our plan later. The arrow buttons located at the bottom of the layer list allow you to change the order of the layers. The layer order determines which lines and shapes appear on top of others. Click the guides layer to select it. When a layer is selected, it will highlight in blue. Press the double up arrow to move it to the top. Now the guides we added in the design stages will appear on top of everything else. Click the house layer to select it. Press the single up arrow to move the layer up one position. Press the single down arrow to move it back down. Press the double down arrow to move the house layer all the way to the bottom. To reset the layers to the default order, press the reset button. To create a new layer, press the paper with the plus sign. A window will ask you to name the new layer. We'll press cancel for now. Press the next button to duplicate the selected layer. A window will ask you to name the new layer. We'll name the layer house plan and press OK. This layer appears in our layer list. Press the paper with the minus sign to remove the layer. A window will appear to confirm you want to delete the layer. Only markup layers can be deleted. Stage layers can only be hidden. Each layer can have a custom line style and fill pattern set. Click the gear icon at the top of the layer list to open the markup category settings box. Here we set our default settings. Click the plumbing layer. When a markup layer is selected, you can rename the layer, set the category as a default, and have measurements use the category style. Here on the line tab, we set the line style, thickness, and color. In the drop down, select the first dashed line and set the line thickness to 3. Now select a blue color swatch to set the color to blue. We can also add text to the line. Click Embed Text. Type Plumbing in the text field. Now click the Font button to select a font and size. We'll set our font to Verdana size 12 and press OK. Spacing sets the distance between the text. We'll keep our spacing set to 4 feet. Great! Now all lines we draw in the plumbing layer will be blue and say plumbing. Next, select the planter's layer. From the list on the right, select Diagonal 1. Click the dark brown color swatch to create an earthy look. Now all planters we draw will have this brown diagonal fill pattern. In the Artistic Style drop-down, we also have the option to set 3D materials as the default fill pattern. This will set the fill to the materials applied in the material stage. To use 3D materials as the default fill style for all stage layers, add a green check mark in the bottom left. When on, individual layer fill patterns are disabled. Add a red X for now to use individual fill settings. Press OK to save our changes. These settings only apply to new lines, new shapes, and future projects. Now that our defaults are set, We'll add plumbing runs on the plumbing layer. Lines drawn in construction markup will only appear in 2D. Click the plumbing layer. 
the pencil icon appears next to the layer you're editing. Activate the line tool. Click in the center of the pool. Draw to the left 36 feet and click. Then down 27 feet and double click to end the line at the pool equipment. Now we'll add a plumbing line at the spa. Click the center of the spa. Draw to the left 33 feet and click. Then down 16 feet and double click to end the line at the pool equipment. The plumbing lines display our embedded text, but do not show measurements. In the panel, measurements can be turned on or off for any shape drawn in markup. Under Object Settings, add a green check mark next to Display Measurements. Below this, we can also adjust the spacing and font of our embedded text. This only changes the selected line. New lines will use the original default settings. Hold down Control and click the pool plumbing line. Once both lines are selected, we can find the total length in the Object Info menu at the top of the screen. The total length of our plumbing lines is 112 feet. We can also click the Smart Data tab to see the calculation. Next, we'll update the pool. In the panel, click the Quick Select Circle on the pool's layer. The pool highlights in blue. We can change the line style and fill pattern in the panel under Object Styles. We'll leave the line set to solid, but change the thickness to 3 to make the pool stand out. To represent water, we'll apply a blue fill pattern. Click the Fill button. In the drop-down, choose from watercolors, markers, colored pencils, or modern. As we click each option, the water updates between artistic styles. We'll set our pool to watercolors. We also need the measurements of the pool. In the panel, add a green check mark next to measurements. The measurements on the coping are hard to see. We can move the measurements with the label tool under labels and guides. Activate label. Click the 32 foot measurement. Hold down the left mouse button and move the number above the raised bond beam. Once you release the left mouse button, the measurement will stay at the new location. The Label tool can be used on any measurement in the project. Press the Lock button to the right of Quick Select when you're done working with it. This prevents accidentally selecting or editing a layer. A layer can be locked or unlocked at any time. The Quick Select circle also allows us to adjust the style of multiple shapes. Click the circle on the Hardscapes layer. All of our hardscapes highlight in blue. In the drop-down, choose Watercolors. A flagstone fill pattern is added to all of the hardscapes. Additional fill patterns are available in the library. Open the library. Click Fill Patterns to view the options. Then click Watercolors. Double-click a thumbnail to see the fill pattern on the hardscapes. We'll apply concrete. We like the artistic fill, but would like to see how 3D materials look. In the panel drop-down, select 3D materials. All of the hardscapes are filled with the material applied in the material stage. This looks great! Let's select the pool and set the fill to 3D materials as well. Since the pool layer is locked, we first need to unlock the layer. Once unlocked, press the Quick Select circle to select the pool and change the fill style to 3D materials. Right-click the pool. Here we can quickly lock the layer, display measurements, add a height label, display fill patterns, and change the stack order. We'll press the lock button to lock the pool layer. To add the name of our plant to the symbol, right-click and press Call Out. To add additional text or instructions, activate the text tool. Measurements and text added in this stage always appear on a markup layer. In the layer list, we see we're automatically on the general markup layer. Click the center of the house to add a text box. Type Smith Residence into the field. The text is too small. Activate the scale tool by pressing the letter E on your keyboard. Left click and hold the bottom right corner of the text box. Move the mouse until the text is the right size. Once you release the left mouse button, the text will stay the new size. Now activate the Move tool to center the text box in the house. 
we can also change the font in the panel. Press the Font button under Object Styles to select the font, style, and size. We'll set our font to Verdana size 36 and press OK. Next to the Font button, we can change the color. Press the color square to bring up the color picker box. Select the dark gray swatch and press OK. We can also set the text alignment to left, center, or right and add an underline. Let's add more text. Activate the text tool. Click in front of the gate opening on the wall to add a text box. Type access through gate into the field. To add an arrow, click add call out arrow in the panel. Hold down the left mouse button to move the line and arrow pointing to the gate. We can also add symbols to our project. In the library, click watercolor to remove the filled thumbnails. Now click the symbols category, then click generic drafting symbols to see the options. Scroll down and select pool light. Press insert multiple at the bottom of the library to add two symbols to the project. As we move our mouse onto the grid, the symbol is attached to our cursor. Place the symbol at each pool light. Right click to remove the symbol from our cursor. We can also add triangulation lines and center lines. Press the quick select button on the pool layer. With the pool selected, special rulers activate in the panel. Triangulation connects all radius or endpoints to plot the object location for dig plans. Center line gives an even measurement across the center of the shape. For this project, click center line ruler. The center line is added to the pool and a new center line markup layer is added to our layer list. In the panel, we can adjust line spacing and excavation. The excavation value determines how far the measurement will be from the drawn line of the shape. Anchor lines connect the center line to the closest house shape. Click and adjust where these lines connect as needed. You can turn off construction markup in the hide unhide at the top of the screen. When you add a red X, all shapes on markup layers highlight in purple to show they're hidden. We want construction markup layers visible in our project, so we'll add the green eye. Using these techniques, we'll finish setting the line styles, fills, symbols, and callouts for our project. Next, in page layout, We'll add more details and then print or export the plans. This completes instruction on construction markup. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com/help.